नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज दैट डिफरेंस बिटवीन यूनियन एंड यूनियन ऑल यूनियन परफॉर्म डिस्टिंग ऑन द रिजल्ट सेट एलिमिनेटिंग एंड डुप्लीकेट रोल दैट मींस एंड यूनियन ऑल इफ आई यूजिंग यूनियन ऑल एंड दैट रिटर्न रिजल्ट विद डुप्लीकेट रिपोर्ट ऑल रिपोर्ट बोथ टेबल लेट स्टार्ट हियर हियर टू हियर टू टेबल in my db uh, in my database have two table and uh, first one is tb user and second one contact second one table is customer okay in my uh, user table showing record here Amit, Amit, Vikas, Nitin, Priya, uh, something like this, and customer table record showing here. Vikas, Kapil, Vikas, Kapil, Johan, Amit, Priya, Arima, like this. Now we are implement union in both table here, and uh, this is our first one table. User second one is customer. We are using here union, and after that, and uh, execute union with union, and showing only without duplicate record. It means Elim eliminate all duplicate record here. Amit uh, comes two times. Here Amit comes two times, uh, similar to Nitin. Vikas comes both tables in my unit after using the union here and showing only and uh, after using union showing record without duplicate. If I using union all showing here all duplicate record. Union and union all both are very important question for all interviews. Update male to female, female to male. This is a very important question for SQL interview. Always ask. Let's start. This is my table. TV user. Okay, in this my table have seven record. Amit, Amit, Vikas. This is male and Nitin, male. Priya, Juice, Jerry, Jerry. This is a female. Now, now we update this record and male to female, female to male by this query. This query and in in which query we use case like this and. Uh, here and update update table ka name set gender 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 this is my column name and and in gender we use case case and gender when female then female else males and by this query we can easily update male to female female to male and remember that always this is a very important question for interview let's start emp salary this is my table data showing in order by descending 25 21 20 18 16 like this but I want to find out the second highest salary. Second highest salary 21. Firstly, we find out top two record from table in order by descending like this 25 21. But second highest salary 21. Now, showing record in table, we change the order in order by ascending. It means 21-25 and updated find out top 1 record. Okay, this is my second highest salary. Now, similar. Now, now I want to find out the fourth highest salary. 1, 2, 3, 4. It means 18k. That's a very simple. Similar to find out top 
for record in order by descending top for record 25 21 20 18k but i want to find out the fourth highest salary fourth highest salary is 18k now i am change record i am change order ascending by and update find out the top one record 18k by this query and this is my fourth highest salary now i want to find out the eight highest salary 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it means 5k 5000 so firstly we find out top eight record from table in order by descending 1 5k is my 8 highest salary this salary i want to find out okay now i am showing record in table change the order order in ascending by and after that find out the top one record from table by this query and this is my 8 highest salary for example This is my table. Table name is TV. TV user. And in my table, test one, test one repeat more than one time. Similar to test two are repeated more than one time or test three. I want to delete duplicate record. That's a very simple. Firstly, uh, we find we find out max ID every. Duplicate record like this. Max ID forty one. Similar to test two. Max ID thirty seven. Similar to max ID thirty four. And we find out all max IDs. Test twenty three twenty five. And after that, uh, we will fire a query. And that record not available in this record. We will delete. Okay. This is my on full table, and after that, fire flip query, and all my duplicate record has been deleted successfully. Next important question is that delete and truncate. Difference between delete and truncate. Delete is a DML command and truncate is a DDL command. A delete is a slower than truncate and truncate is a very fast. And the main difference is that in both we can roll back after delete any record and also we can delete single and more than one record at a time. But in truncate, remove all record from table, but we cannot roll back. For example, this is table. Table name is EMP salary. Inside the EMP salary, showing record here, and uh, we start delete record from this table where ID is equal to three. Where this is record inside the delete, we can delete single row and more than row at a time, and we can also roll back after delete record. For example, like this. This is my table EMP salary inside the showing record here. And after delete record here, we delete where ID is equal to three. It means this record, and we fire this command like this, execute, and after that, three record three ID is equal to three record is not showing. ID is equal to three record is not showing in my database. Now I try to roll back this record after delete, and we fire roll back. Query successfully done. Now select three record. Come back. It means after delete record, we can roll back data very easily. After fire truncate inside the table all row remove like this. And this is my table here. EMP salary. Now we fire truncate table and execute. After that, select 
my table data not showing here after truncate and we can roll back after using truncate okay we cannot use roll back thank you so much for watching my video if you like to my video please subscribe channel and like video